Hey YouTube, it's Yoli1976 on here again. I don't know if my other video recorded. That's one thing about YouTube. You might end up having to record like three times like I have. But I'm um, giving an update on how I'm, um, what's going on with me and my weight loss surgery and some other things. Um, first off, uh, my weight loss surgery, I'm still waiting on a date. I haven't got a date. Called the lady two times to get her my new phone number. She haven't returned her call, left a message and everything. So, <clears throat> waiting on that. I figured they, they must got my number because they had called me before. So, um, anyway, um, besides that, I'm trying to keep myself busy. Of course, y'all probably um, can tell because I did an outfit of the day before and I um, did a... I was back to school, um, shopping thing, um, haul, um, a shopping haul for myself, I think I did one. Oh, and I had to show y'all one more thing from the old shopping haul that I didn't get to show y'all, but I'll get to that. Um, I've just been doing a couple other things to keep myself preoccupied and start worrying about this surgery. So, I'm hoping I get this surgery soon because, um, I had a recent phone call from a jaw that I applied for almost two years ago. It's a state jaw. And if anybody know about state jobs, they take a long time here in Maryland to call you because a lot of people want the job. And I just so happened got a phone call. <sighs> I'm so happy. And they sending me a package out and gonna get me set up with an interview and everything. So I'm happy. That's more money. But the bad part is I have my insurance through the job that I'm with now my health insurance and if my surgery date don't come up and I don't get this surgery in time and I start this new job you know most insurance make you start all over ain't that something after two years away it pops up now I guess it's better than never so I'm gonna just say thank you God I'm not complaining but please let me get my surgery before I start this job before I start this um new job or I'm thinking positive that I'm going to get this job. That's how I'm supposed to think. Anyway, I went shopping today and um, I went looking for some hair products. Ran out of shampoo and it usually takes me almost an hour to get to wholesale food store to get my um, Kinky Curly Custard shampoo and Kinky Curly Custard leave-in conditioner. I don't actually use the um, I'm getting the curtain to see what's the name of it. Whoops. Hey, I'm knocking everything off. I don't actually use, I guess they call it the curling custer natural styling gel. I, I mean, you can see there's a lot of it missing. I do use that. But I'll, it take y'all, for it to get like this, actually I dropped some out of here. That's one thing. And the other thing, I um when I first used it, I used a whole lot. Don't everybody call when you have a video and everything just happened. Anyways, hold on y'all. Hello? Then I am. No. Alrighty, thank you. You too, bye bye. Telemarketing. God. Anyway, um, yeah, I had this for probably about six months, maybe more. You know, um, when I, I, I got this really early in my natural. I've been natural for um a year. So, um, and this, um, I had shaved my head. I mean, I was like that on that ball, and this is where I'm at now. Oh, yeah, and I've been taking my, um, hair affinity vitamins, and it's haven't been long, so. That piece don't want to go back down. It has not been long. I have not been long on it, so. I don't see any difference yet. 
But um, for the biotin, I've been taking all my remnants. Hair is growing in the wrong spot, in spot y'all. You know, when you hit 30, things get kind of crazy. So, <laughs> um, I had like one string here. And I made a mistake and um, shaved it with a razor. I call it a mistake because they say I should have never did that. And then three or four popped up. <laughs> okay. And then now that I take the biotin, three or four just keep popping up. And I just keep, I, now that I started, I keep shaving it. So I do it every day. And it's like in this spot right here only. It look real stupid. And um, I shave it every day. And the biotin make it come back. Every day is always a little something every day where it used to be that um, my computer was acting crazy. It used to be that I can go a whole week shave one time and it wouldn't go back for a week. But enough about that. Um, I went shopping. I went looking for new shampoo and hair product. And um, I am in a uh, challenge right now, a castor oil challenge so that's my castle supposed to put in your scalp every day no heat and stuff like that is a lady on here that's doing it and um i kind of broke the rules but um i'm gonna get back on track i broke the rules like today so last night i mean but i'm gonna get back on track because she has two heat passes you can put heat in your hair twice this month and you don't we doing it for a month i think Maybe more, but anyway, I I use my heat pads for using a new hair product that I got, which is called Organic African Best Hair Manis. Okay, and I like it, and it my hair look a mess because um I just got off of work and I changed into my comfy T-shirt by the way, and my hair was looking really neat when I first put it in, but it made it white because I had put that grape seed oil and olive oil in my hair as far as well as the organic root stimulator hair moisturizer in my hair I, I used to put that on every night and then put the grape seed oil and olive oil on top to seal my ends and stuff so i had did it last night and um yeah and it, i guess when i put them hair mayonnaise in it made it white but it melted in and it was like really neat. My hair don't never lay down, but it was neat all around here. And then um, this was looking really curly. I'll let y'all see it now. And see the front, which is a raggedy mess right now. Cause I put my shirt on and messed it all up and everything. This is typically how I wear my hair. I suppose I wear it in a protective style for this challenge. I usually wear a wig or something, but I've been getting hot lately, so I took it off. Um, um, so anyway, getting to what I bought today, I'm going to have to do a part two to this video. Of if YouTube let it that um, or my computer perhaps let it um, upload um, the first one, um, I bought this stuff, and if anybody heard about it, please tell me by all means how it works in your hair, and do you like it and everything. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you that I'm going to put in my hair, the first thing I'm going to try on my hair, and I probably, I'm going to get back to y'all, and I'm going to let y'all know how all this stuff works. The first thing I'm going to um, show you is the organic, because I heard so many people talk about black soap, and how good the um black soap does they have for cleaning so this is the organic african black soap deep cleansing shampoo with plantain enzyme tea tree and willow bark extract it's for dry itchy scalp dandruff eczema psoriasis and the ingredients in this is the de 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 ionized water Desal glucoside, which is sugar beets, African black soap, willow bark extract, neem seed oil, charcoal powder, tea tree, Jehovah oil, 
Shea, I like Shea Bottle, the oil, aloe vera leaf juice, vitamin E, rosemary extract, platine extract, something called, well, the other name for it is a honeysuckle, and a Japanese honeysuckle extract. And it says shake well because the natural ingredient tends to settle. And her story, the person that put this out, and I'm going to read this to y'all. Her name is Sophie Tucker. She started selling the Shea Nuts at the Village Market in Bonthe, Sierra Leon in 1912. By the age of 19, the widow mother of four was selling Shea Butter and Black Soap. Her homemade hair and skin preparation all over the countryside. Sophie Tucker was all was our grandmother, and Shea Moisture is her legacy. With this purchase, you will help empower a disadvantaged woman to realize the brighter, healthier future. So, um, I guess I'm helping according to this, and and it's helping me. And they sell this in Walmart for nine dollars and ninety nine cents. And the name of a Shea Moisture. And this is African Black Soap Deep Cleansing Shampoo. Which I usually do cold washes. A lot of cold washes. I haven't washed my hair, y'all. Deep cleansing. Use any deep cleansing shampoo. Because I ran out. And um, I was trying to do the cold wash. I haven't really gave my hair a good deep cleansing wash. And probably um, a month. And I know that sounds really nasty. But I was trying something out that somebody mentioned on here and my hair is just a itch of me so it's time i don't i had enough i can't go any longer without washing my hair my hair doesn't stink anything or anything like that but i've been um co-washing it with um uh hello hydration um i can't think of the name of the shampoo but anyway i'm not using that shampoo that sh i mean that conditioner anymore so anyway, I bought this. They have a conditioner that goes to the, but um, and it's it's called a uh, balancing conditioner, black soap balancing conditioner. But I didn't want that, so I got this one, this conditioner. No, this shampoo. I'm gonna use after. Is this is a deep cleanse, and I heard that after you deep cleanse, you need to use a regular shampoo or moisture. So. I read up on it. I, I did my research, y'all. I'm trying to get my hair to grow. And this is by the same people. Shea Moisture. And Organic Raw Shea Butter. Moisture Retention Shampoo with Sea Kelp Argan Oil and Shea Butter. For dry, damaged hair. Heal, grow, strengthen. So my hair is very dry. And um, the ingredients. DNI's Water. Desal glucoside, which is sugar beet, um, shea butter, aloe vera leaf juice, argan oil, pro vitamin B5, rosemary extract, sea kelp extract, vitamin E, honeysuckle flower, Japanese honeysuckle extract. And as what well, as um, I said before, shake well because the natural ingredients tend to settle at the bottom. And it has the same story. Oh, by the way, it even tells you on the bottle. Let me show y'all. Like some bottles don't tell you what each ingredient is for. Don't break it down. But as you can see, probably can't see it real clear. It tells you what each item does. And let me try to do it real quick. It says sea kelp. It traces the mineral, detoxify your hair follicles of impurity and residue. Alga luminara. Um, loss. Illegal minerals detox detoxation okay not a not my y'all I think that was in Spanish for the sea kelp argan oil restores the shine and rebuild hair elasticity shea butter deeply moisturize and repair damage to hair and scalp plantain and that's what was in this one okay the one that had for dry damage hair and this is the black soap one. And on the back, it explains that the plantain helps to elevate itchiness and irritation. Tea tree removes buildup for enhanced shine and volume. Willow bark exfoliate and detoxify hair and scalp. 